Ahava blessings and welcome to this uh, practice of Ahava sacred dance. And in this practice, we are going to do the beautiful dance, sacred dance to the letter Yud. Okay. And so I'm going to teach you the steps and it may take, if you may get them immediately, it may take you a few days, but that's okay because practice is about perfection, right? And perfection is about practice. And so the more we tune the instrument, the more harmony comes into our life. And this is one of the beautiful teachings of Hathur, the goddess Hathur, as she represents the, god of the goddess of dance. And it's not just dance because dance is beautiful. She's teaching us that the more grace we have in our movements, the easier it is to choreograph our lives. And so what we do here is we start here, okay? And we're going to come into this. So this is the letter Yud. It almost looks like the chair in yoga. And so we come here into the letter Yud and infinity on the sides. And then again, and infinity. One more time and infinity. And so we put the left hand on the heart and we're going to put the right arm up. And it's, it's quite, not totally straight, but almost straight. And we turn, circle around the head to the heart, come down and again bring in. It's all about channeling the energy of the sea. And then the other side, the same thing. And then the right and back, the right leg front and back. And now we stand here, right? We bring the weight here and we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we're doing one, two, step two, three, four, step two, three, four, one, two, step two, three, four, step two, three, four, one, two, step two, three, four, step two, three, four, one, two, we're only doing it once, but I'm repeating step two, three, four, step two, three, four, okay? And then from here, we want to create a circle. So what we do is we bring the right, I have to do the whole thing. So what we're doing is creating through the heart, one turn, arms here, two circles, up, receive the divine seed, and we come back to our place, or you can continue in the circle. So when we do this dance with people, we don't go back to the original place, we continue in the circle, but you can do it on your own, just, you know, I love doing it on my own as well. Um, so the first time we repeat that yud three times because we're connecting with the father, the mother, and the divine child. But then you'll probably notice that there's a set of twos because two, the bait that is found within the seed, of course, is about birthing. So here again, one, two, three, and one, two, to do this in 
real time together. And remember that we are embodying the letter Yud through our sacred dance.
Yo coro 